friends and welcome to another journal with me. Today is going to be all about how I'm planning and what I'm planning on doing, I guess, throughout my summer break. This is my last official summer break as a high schooler. Um, I'm a rising senior and I have quite a few exciting things happening this summer, including an internship and possibly traveling, but we're just going to wait and see how this whole pandemic turns out. I know a lot of people this year, at least this summer, will be trapped at home, so hopefully this brings you some inspiration maybe about kind of the more productive things that you can set out to do during this summer while you are stuck at home or stuck in your dorm or wherever you are. I'm going to start off my plan with me with a few of the goals that I'm setting for myself during the summer. As you guys know, I'm really big on goal setting. The first thing that I did obviously was to make a little header for the goals just to keep things organized within my bullet journal. This is kind of a format that I really enjoy doing, so I'm using a white pen to write on top of a black square rectangle um, the word goals and then writing down my goals. And this time instead of just listing out my goals with a little checkbox next to them, I actually kind of wrote out 10 or 5 or 9 or however many different squares so that each time I complete one tenth or one ninth or one fifth of the task I can color it in or cross it out. So for example, I'm planning on taking 10 lessons of ASL, which is American Sign Language, so I drew 10 little boxes next to it. Here I just kind of realized that there was another page inspiration I could do, so I wrote that in pencil. Um, other things that I'm planning on doing, uh, taking 10 lessons of Italian. Uh, you guys know that I started learning Italian kind of ish, stopped. Um, also reading five books, which I will hopefully get over that, so I, you know, left a little bit of space for extra squares, but five is my current goal. Um, I also, you know, wrote master class, we signed up for that, so I'm taking three courses of that, and that's why there are three boxes instead of more than that, and then we have uh, quiet time. Five slash nine just means five days for the nine weeks that I have of summer vacation. And then this next square, I initially was going to do memories, and then I realized that I have an overall 2020 memories anyway, which I'll link my 2020 bullet journal plan with me um, in the cards now, yes if you guys are interested in seeing that page being made. So instead of doing a memories page, I just call it undated, which is kind of tasks that I have to do but don't really have an actual deadline. Just things that I have to do, um, selling my textbooks to people uh, in lower grades or rising juniors basically, um, coming up with some stuff for my youth group and planning things um, about you know how it's going to go after I graduate and things like that, uh, who's going to like man the different accounts, things like that. Um, and then the last thing that I did was photo shoots, which as you guys know, I'm really big on photography. I will also link my photography Instagram down below. But basically, I've planned a whole bunch of photo shoots with a lot of my friends. And I just wrote that down here just to get a clearer picture and stay organized in terms of when I'm shooting with my friends and how many people or how many photo shoots I have booked up. Most of it is kind of crammed into late June or early July because my internship begins in July so you know it's gonna be a busy two weeks but that's all right. And then this next page is my college bound page which you guys know I have a little series thing going on there's only one episode in right now because I haven't really been doing my college research but this is a college bound page with a little image next to it that says your anxiety is lying to you because I know for a fact that I'm probably going to get pretty anxious or pretty I guess stressed out over the college process as a whole. Um, the main purpose of this page really was just to stay organized in terms of all the to-dos that I have to do because I know for me I get really easily overwhelmed if I have a big project and I don't break it down into smaller tasks. So I kind of set up four I think main categories in terms of what I have to do to get prepared for my college application process and for college in general. The first thing was obviously my college list. This is kind of like the basics I guess of college applications, researching schools, researching their rankings, um, finding about their tuition and scholarship and things like that and narrowing down said list so that I have a clear goal on you know how many essays I have to write, um, what teachers to ask, things like that. I also wrote down a list of to-dos that I have to do with my teacher rec, so you know asking my teachers which I have done already and then sending gifts and thanking them and making sure that I know where they can upload and 
informing them about things like that. Third category that I wrote was um, my personal essay, so obviously this is what's kind of gonna get me into college, I guess. And then my last category was the additionals, which is just other things because I don't know much about college now so I know there's going to be more stuff coming up. The next page that I came up with was re important reminders and I think this is just really cool because I'm probably going to be going back to it throughout the summer just whenever I feel a strike of inspiration or something um, or if I'm feeling any kind of way this can just be a little spread for me to write down some truths or some things that I believe in to help myself feel better um, and I can always just look back at it and remind myself about what is true in this world and not to fall into more lies. Um, so that about concludes the three spreads that I made. I'll let you guys watch this compilation of clips with the nice piano music. And yeah, I guess I'll see all of you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what else you want to watch. Bye guys!